It's a great day to be out here in the American West. Winter welcomes us with the fresh snow. Uh, today is winter solstice day. It's the shortest and darkest day of the year, but it's good to be outside. It's so peaceful out here. There isn't a soul in these woods right now. So grizzly bear hunts ended in British Columbia. That's the topic of discussion today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before we begin. Subscribe to Foster Gulch Outdoors and Wildlife on YouTube. Today I want to talk about the recent announcement that grizzly bear hunts have been indefinitely ended in British Columbia. And I want to talk about this because I want your feedback on what you think that has for the future of the bears in Canada. Now, the uh, British Columbia Forest Minister made an announcement that the grizzly bear hunts were ended solely on social values, a reason for social values. He said their population is fine. He reassured everyone that uh, there's no problems with there being enough bears in British Columbia. But I think what we need to look at here is the successful rebound of grizzly bears in the greater Yellowstone area. Um, their territory is expanding faster every year. And some of the bears are starting to move out into the desert regions outside of the mountains um, near Cody, Wyoming and up in Montana. They are actually uh, almost the population of Yellowstone grizzlies is almost going to connect if it hasn't already with the population from Glacier Park. Uh, they're, they're finding them, sighting them out by the interstate by Bozeman. But what we really need to look at today so that we can compare that situation to the future of British Columbia is the increase in attacks. And we'd like to focus on this topic on Foster Gulch Outdoors because uh, it's just a topic that interests people and some people are concerned and I don't blame you because when you're out in those areas, you do need to be alert and f follow proper bear safety protocol. Check out our website. There will be a link in the description to read more about that. So this year there was uh, an increase in attacks. So there's one attack in the spring and then there are three attacks in the fall. And one of those attacks that happened in the fall happened near Ennis, Montana. And I don't think a grizzly bear has been sighted there for decades or maybe even a hundred years. So they're expanding their territory and they're getting more comfortable with people. Now, unlike Canada, the US government delisted the grizzlies in the greater Yellowstone region. So they are no longer federally protected. They handed their management over to the states, which means there may be hunting. So in British Columbia, there's 15,000 estimated bears um, and they ended the hunting. Now there weren't that many killed to begin with. I think there are only like 250 tags uh, given out per year. So are those bears going to get more comfortable with people in the coming years if they're not hunted? This is what we want to find out, or we want to hear your feedback, I should say. So leave comments and questions below. Let us know what you think, because uh, the three attacks that happened in the greater Yellowstone region happened in the fall. I remember there's one in the spring, but three happened in the fall, and all of them happened uh, where elk hunters encountered the bears. And it's pretty much the same story. An elk hunter shot an elk, the hunter went over to claim the elk, began uh, cleaning the elk or, you know, just tagging the animal and a grizzly bear showed up to claim the elk. Uh, I know one claimed, it f claimed an elk for its cubs, attacked the hunters. There was one man in one of the attacks who had his face ripped off by a bear. Luckily, he got sent to a uh, specialist in Colorado and they attempted to repair his face. I'll also put links in the description below on the stories of these attacks. So go ahead and read them so you can have like an understanding. We just want to know what you think that will have for the future of the bears. Will it have no effect? Will the bears, will their population grow even more? Most of the research that we could find 
shows that when there are large predators like mountain lion, black bear, grizzly bear, and hunting is completely eliminated for an area, we found that that does usually correlate with an increase in attacks on humans. And the attacks are different because they're not just defense attacks. Say where you come across a sow grizzly and her cubs and she wants to defend her cubs. We see that they kind of transform or change, I mean, into predatory attacks where it's usually for food. So to us, that shows that the animals are uh, less afraid of humans. Now, if you disagree with that, let us know. We want to get all the evidence and we want to see uh, everything that people can bring to this discussion. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, we at Foster Gulch just wanted to get your feedback on this topic. Um, but that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe to Foster Gulch Outdoors. Uh, check out the website for more content on this. There will be more videos coming out in the future. But thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time.